Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available Live Breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, 3, or 6 p.m. Central Time any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Oh Your breaker for tonight's oh show. Oh my God. Likes long walks on the beach. Candlelight dinners in his Patrick Mahomes jersey. None are better than this one. The best quarterback in the world. Oh, Patrick is. Mahomes. Yes. And staring at the messy posters over his bed, it's Common and Chev. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. Hello and welcome to Alton Autographs. Common and Chef here with Alex Telez. Ready for an awesome show, Alex. A lot of great stuff in the room. A lot of good headliner ratios, by the way. Diamond helmets, 13 boxes left. Six headliners left, including that Steve Young chrome speed flex. That thing is absolutely nasty. Uh, the Vault, 29 boxes left. 14 headliners. So many big names. John Elway, Joe Montana, Randy Moss, Barry Sanders, and plenty, plenty more. Practice squad. We got the Big Ben Authentic. We got a Max Crosby Authentic. Puka Nakua Authentic. Jerome Bettis Authentic. Buying to that break, believe it or not, as low as 49 bucks in the single box. I can't wait to get started, Alex. How are you doing this wonderful afternoon? Doing good. I got a nice little Brewers win that helped me out. Yeah, and let's go. We got a lot of great breaks. Yeah, we do. Looking forward to getting this these done. Also, you and I were uh, watching all these people oh, bring in yeah. all these helmets. Our warehouse is flooded with helmets. What does that mean? That means you guys at home... Plenty of more awesome series on the way. I am super duper pumped, Alex. We got a lot of great stuff happening here at UA every single day, 12, 3, and 6 p.m. So let's get the show started. Two virtual dice looking for six or higher on the dice roll. Mm -hmm. We've got ourselves six on the dot, as low as you can go. Three and a three, six on the dice roll. Uh, that will be our dice roll for the show. Uh, we'll see what the chase is next. Heading on over to the chase wheel spin. Uh, it was the vault in the early show. What do we got for the 3 p.m. hour, the midday show here at UA? It is going to be the jerseys. Uh, excellent chase. Only 27 bucks a spot. We should knock out at least one jersey. Uh, that will be the chase for this program. Uh, all right. No prefills, Alex, but we are... Not too far away on multiple breaks. Do have those personals too. Oh, we have the Jersey personals as well, which we'll knock out after this top to bottom rundown. Uh, so do have a couple personals. Thank you for that reminder. 23 boxes left in the practice squad. We have 10 total headliners, including eight photo headliners. Most of these are full-size authentic helmets, mm -hmm. like Max Crosby, one of the best pass rushers in the game, Hall of Fame running back Jerome Bettis, Record-setting wide receiver, most receiving yards 
as a rookie came out of nowhere Pukanakua he's here in the break room uh, we have the Brian Dawkins full-size rep uh, we have the Sean Alexander flash authentic one of the best running backs of the 2000s and then Terry McLaurin on the slate authentic the big name left is Ben Roethlisberger uh, one of the best quarterbacks of all time in my opinion Alex top 10 quarterback of all time I mean yeah. You look at most of the numbers, he's like fifth, sixth, in just about all the categories out there. I got to say, he's got to be top 10, Ben Roethlisberger. Triple signed Washington Super Bowl champion jersey as well. Still out there, all quarterbacks uh, that were Super Bowl champs. Uh, not to mention a couple secondary headliners in here. Uh, that includes uh, Jack Lambert and Trayvon Diggs. With those two guys, 10 and 23 chance. Again, some of the authentic helmets in our break room you know, worth more than six, seven, eight hundred bucks. I know a retail value for a Big Ben is about a thousand bucks on fanatics.com. You can get that for 49 in the single, 98 in the double. And for the Steeler fans, double up with the Big Ben and a Jerome Bettis. The Washington fans, double up with the three quarterback signed Super Bowl champion jersey and the Terry McLaurin. Speaking of doubling up, uh, you can double up real nicely in this break. Uh, the vault uh, 29 boxes left 14 headliners total 10 photoed plus five vault keys 19 out of 29 boxes have either a vault key a photoed headliner or a secondary headliner these are all full-size helmets full-size authentics or full-size reps the vast majority of the photoed headliners are full-size authentics i'll run through the reps first then i'll get to the authentics alex uh, the reps are some of the best receivers we have. Tyreek Hill and C.D. Lamb, uh, one and two in receiving yards this last season. And then Michael Irvin, Hall of Fame receiver, that's a rep. The rest of the names I'll mention are all full-size authentics. Like Barry Sanders with the 1997 NFL MVP inscription. In my opinion, the GOAT running back, the great Barry Sanders. Micah Parsons, full-size authentic. One of the best pass rushers in the game. Sauce Gardner, probably the best corner in the game on that Hydro Speed Flex with the red, or actually with the green visor, excuse me. Uh, we got TJ Watt, the best defensive player in the NFL. That's on a full-size authentic on the camo. Randy Moss, straight cash homie. Again, about a 1000 bucks retail value on Fanatics. Uh, Randy Moss available in uh, the vault. You can double up with Moss and Barry Sanders. We got a top five quarterback ever, Joe Montana, four time Super Bowl champion, Mr. Montana is, and then a two time champion, John Elway on the slate authentic. Uh, so you can double up in a lot of spots NFC East, NFC North, a lot of good options in the vault, a lot of headliners left, a lot of vault keys left. The only vault key gone is the $50 one, which is a low number, Alex. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Diamond Helmets, this is perhaps the best break in the room. Uh, box for box, all authentics, all incredible. Uh, we have the best receiver, at least the last couple years, Justin Jefferson. You know, it's either him or Tyreek Hill. And we did pull the cheetah in this series earlier, but Jay Jetta's very much out there. The one guy that could threaten Jerry Rice's all-time receiving mark. Oh, yeah. uh, Steve Young on the chrome flex with the red visor, the best lefty quarterback ever. One of the best dual threat quarterbacks ever on one of the best helmets I've ever seen, quite frankly. Uh, Cowboy Nation, uh, hop in this break. We have Emmett Smith, the best cowboy of all time, NFL's all-time leading rusher, plus the Michael Irvin, uh, former Super Bowl champions. Go back to those glory days, right? The Cowboy fans love to reminisce. Well, uh, two of the most important guys on those Super Bowl champion teams. We got four Eagle quarterbacks also in the NFC East. Could be a double up. Randall Cunningham, Mike Vick, Ron Jaworski, Donovan McNabb, all rock solid quarterbacks uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles. There's a Marshall Fox secondary headliner, one of the best running backs of all time. Only 13 boxes left. We got six total headliners counting Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Practice squad, again, went over the names earlier. 49 bucks a spot. Can get a Big Ben Authentic for just 49 bucks, for example. A vault, eight to go. Jerseys are seven to go. Uh, we got A.J. Green, Antonio Gates, Eric Dickerson, Brian Erlacher, four headliners in 13 boxes. Six total if we look at the Robert Mathis and Drew Bledsoe. Secondary headliners here. 
in our listing. Uh, we got ourselves eight to go in the diamond single. A mini triple box break is only two spots to go. Three minis left, Alex. Two headliners left. Uh, that includes two awesome running backs, Earl Campbell, the Hall of Famer, and in my opinion, a guy that should be a Hall of Famer, Roger Craig. Mm -hmm. uh, so two and three chance uh, at the minis coming out being headliners in that one. Real quick, the mystery boxes. You can buy the jerseys as a personal. Uh, $174.99, a guaranteed win. You can buy the full-size reps as a personal as well with Aiden Hutchinson, Debo Samuel, Emmett Smith, Marshall Falk, Curtis Martin, Devontae Adams, and Jamar Charles. Touchdown dance rep helmets. Yes. A lot of good running backs that got a lot of touchdowns. Some good receivers as well. Uh, big names left in that series. And as soon as we close up the minis, mini personals will be available too. Yes, mini personals will go up as well. Uh, so will a new mini series uh, full of new headliners. So let's knock out these jersey personals real quick. I believe these were from yesterday. We like to give the guys, you know, a chance to get in for their personals. Brandon uh, Felmley, we have not seen Brandon. So we're going to randomize two random jerseys for Brandon's personals. And by the time these are done, I'm thinking we'll probably have minis, maybe diamonds, maybe practice squad. I guess we'll find out, right? Yeah. So jerseys are out of 35, Alex. So I'm going to spin this wheel twice. Let's get our two numbers for the personals here. All right, let's start with box five, which in the jerseys, we don't have five. I think the closest one is one, I believe. So one going off the ticker. Uh, let me spin it one more here for our second box on the jersey personal. That'll be 27, which... I don't 26. think we have. I think 26 should be the closest, right? Yes. All right, 26. Thank you, Alex. Brandon has a couple personals coming his way in the Jersey series. Could it be a couple headliners, perhaps? Possible. Anything is possible. We know that in this break room. A lot of goodies that have been coming out of late. All right. Oh, we got a stat jersey. One of the best offensive linemen of all time. Uh, helped Jamal Lewis run for 2,000 yards. One of eight guys to do that. A uh, big reason why he did that was Jonathan Ogden. I mean, uh, we got the six-time first-team All-Pro, 11-time Pro Bowler, Super Bowl champion, Hall of Famer in 2013, uh, Jonathan Ogden. This is a guy that I learned about as a kid from Madden, ironically. Mm -hmm. 99 overall rating and rightfully so, uh, JSA certified Brandon, congrats on your Jonathan Ogden custom jersey. And the Royals are winning. Ooh, White Sox always blow it. They always blow it. More importantly, is Bayern Munich winning on my betting front? No, it's 0 0, Alex. Mm. But they're not losing. I have them tie no bet. There you go. So if they tie in regulation, I get my money back. Nice if he's an Eagle fan, says Adam. I traded Ricky Waters for Ogden. Okay, that's a pretty fair uh, trade offer. Ricky yeah. Waters, uh, former great running back for the Eagles. Also, uh, he was with the Niners and the Seahawks as well. So I haven't seen Brandon in the chat. Adam, maybe he's out there. Probably not, Alex. But if you're out there, Brandon, you do have a trade offer. Brand new customer, a guy that I don't actually recognize by name personally. Chris Cornwell got a personal, looks like, too. Getting the reps. All right, Chris. Uh, your rep personal is coming up here after this next jersey box. I think, I don't know if you have it. I think Robbie seemed to have the rep list somewhere over there it, for the boxes. Isn't it right on the side? Oh, is it? Like, on, Oh, it is right there on the side. You're right. Okay, never mind. We do have the numbers on the side there. Good call. So we'll look at those. Uh, looks like we have 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9... 13, 15, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 27, 29, and 30. And Alex uh, copied and pasted those there. Chris, let us know which one of those numbers you would like, sir. And maybe give us like two just in case. I know yeah. sometimes, you know, it's a little bit harder to take those off on that ticker because uh, I think you're going to the back for these, right, Alex? Yeah. So give us like two or three just in case, Chris, but make sure you let us know what your main number is that you want on your personal, sir. A guaranteed win there for Chris. James Beck getting us closer on that diamond double. Four-way. Perfect. Four to go. Let's go. Let's see that Steve Young. 
Uh, I believe, Alex, we should have headliner packages tomorrow, I think, right? Ready. Oh, they are ready? Yeah, I don't, uh, let me check on the break. Is, like, are they available to buy right now? I think they're still showing as sold out. Sold out? So, okay, I'll, I'll add that on there. So the headliner packages will be available as well. I know Chris loves those. It'll be one mini, one jersey, one rep, one authentic. Uh, those headliner packages will go active uh, actually here momentarily. He says 13 or 27, either one works. All right, so let's do 13, Alex. I'll get that off our list, and by some chance, if it's gone, 27 could be your backup. All right. Thank you, Chris. Is Chris in those diamonds? Chris, Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin. He is in the double. Ah, makes sense. Makes sense. Which right. one would he prefer? 13, 13 he said first. I, I guess either one. I'll go 13 because I saw that first. Oh, we got a secondary headliner here, Brandon. Uh, one of the best defensive players of all time. The NFL's all-time force fumble leader. How about Robert Mathis on the custom jersey? Uh, JSA certified, Brandon, on your Robert Mathis jersey. So we got Jonathan Ogden and Robert Mathis. All righty. We'll get both of those written up here. And then we have Chris's personal. And then hopefully by then, we got some breaks that are filled up. Hopefully some breaks will be ready to go here. Robert Mathis with Dwight Freeney. How Peyton Manning win uh, his one Super Bowl with the Colts. Uh, this guy was a game wrecker, to say the least, Robert Mathis. All right, I'll put this custom jersey away. We have 13, Alex? We do have 13. Perfect. Chris, we have 13. Uh, that'll be the one we rock and roll with here on your rep personal. I guess he probably wants the Emmett Smith as a Cowboy fan. Yeah. Uh, there is an Emmett Smith rep helmet uh, out there in this series. All right. Good luck, Chris. I know we say we don't cheer for guys to get certain guys, but when somebody has all the break spots or they got a personal, let's let them have their squad, right, Alex? No one else to compete against. Let's see if it's time for Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith out there in the reps. Emmett Smith out there on the authentics as well. This is new. This is new, Alex. Uh, he just went to this team. We got Devin Singletary on the Giants. Uh, the former Texan running back uh, going to the Giants. It's Beckett certified. Uh, Saquon Barkley is out. Devin Singletary is in. Chris Cornwell has the rival team uh, on the Singletary full-size flash rep for the Giants. There you go. Very solid running back. He kind of lost his starting job a little bit in Houston. Uh, he'll probably get it back with the Giants, right? I mean, who's the other running back? I know Saquon's not there, that's for sure, Alex. So, I like to see Devin Singletary. Mm -hmm. So, you know, last year had 899, 898 rushing yards. Yeah. That's really good. 819 the year before. Uh, nice hit there, Chris, on Devin Singletary. All right, all right, all right. Clean even, clean even though it's a Giants helmet, he says, right? I mean, I get it. It's the rival team, but there's Giant fans out there that will trade, uh, you know, maybe trade you a Cowboy for this. Who knows? Yeah. The Giant flash looks nice. It does. We always forget, like, there's so many flashes we talk about, and this is one we don't see often. I almost forget how nice it looks, uh, Alex. I mean, and you got that for free. You got it for free? Oh, was that a free one? That was a free one. Ah, free rep personal part of the... Signature Club, which if you're not part of, I'll drop in the link here at our Signature Club Rewards Program. Make sure you're logged in. Make sure you're signed up. But as you buy more spots, you get free things like free rep helmet personals, for example. Four to go in that diamond double box. Two to go in the minis. Five to go in the jerseys. Keep it moving, guys. Keep it grooving, guys. A lot of great options on the UA live break page and we do have five of those headliner packages available five available five. not four five, five. available yep. five headliner packages available uh, he's definitely the starter says adam daybo loves him okay 
Yeah. Oh, because Dable was in Buffalo. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. a he, former Buffalo um, offensive coordinator, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, so, Apollo, great group of folks here in our chat that trade. I would recommend if you win something, ask the chat, tell them what you have, and they'll let you know what they have. A lot of our customers here uh, are really good about, you know, getting each other's emails, each other's numbers. I would say a great place to trade is this chat room, Alex. You know, you say what helmet you have, ask if anyone else in the chat room has that helmet. That's a great place for trades. Uh, so, Apollo St. Clair. So what are we going to knock out first, guys? That's what I'm wondering. I have some old school Cowboys jerseys if interested. Pearson, Lily, and Staubach says Josh Underwood. Okay, Josh. Uh, so where are my 49er fans at? Raise your hand if you're a Niner fan, Alex, because we got 13 boxes left. Uh, Steve Young. We got Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, Justin Jefferson, the Eagle QB quad, and then this helmet, which is one of the freshest lids in the break room. Uh, so Apollo's a lot of guys in this group to trade. Yeah. I like to find a Gibbs helmet, says Josh. Jameer Gibbs, a guy we get in the break room. Ooh, we do. A guy that could even be like a filler hit on the diamond, for example. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, what's, by, that's how good that series is. By the end of next year, he'll be a headliner. I think so, yeah. He has been a headliner, but usually yeah. it's like the jerseys, the minis, the reps. Uh, Jameer Gibbs, uh, definitely the future of that Lions backfield. Is John in the diamonds? John Wells? I know he's a Niner fan. He is not. It's just Chris Cornwell, Jonathan Farrell, and James Beck. Jonathan Farrell's got two spots. He does. Jonathan could get the Irvin and Smith, or he could get Irvin and Steve Young, or Smith and Steve Young, Justin Jefferson and Steve Young. Uh, I could get that Eagle quad helmet as well. A lot of good options for Jonathan Farrell. James Beck did close out that mini triple. All right, what's up, James? Mini helmets are closed out. The next mini is out of 30, Alex, I think? Yes. So I'll get uh, 14, 15, and 17. The last three boxes don't even need box numbers. Minis are closed out. Apollo, who's your team? And John says, no, I'm not in the diamonds comment. That's okay, John. And we do have the single option as well. Uh, but uh no problem john play if you can if not no worries just want to make sure you know we have niner fans in the room they got to know about that steve young chrome flex right alex nice. they got to know about that joe montana in the vault the two best niner quarterbacks of all time uh so ring chasing minis we got roderick we got steven we got pat apollo and james triple box break the last minis of the series Apollo's a Packer fan. Fiance is 49ers. Get get your fiance some good Niners stuff. Yeah. We do get a lot of Packer stuff in the room as well. I don't think we have a photoed Packer right now, but there could be some good filler hits. You know, like Amon Green maybe, uh, Christian Watson. You never know, right, Alex? Never know. We did pull the Jordan Love jersey uh, a little bit earlier this week, or was it last week? Recently, the Jordan Love jersey. You want to know something weird is we were just talking about Jameer Gibbs. He's in the minis as a headliner. Ah, perfect. So, Josh, Jameer Gibbs is back in the break room, photoed headliner in the new minis. Six clicks for our mini helmets. Uh, I think Apollo, I believe, uh, just got the Roger Craig mini in the NFC West. He said, wife's a, now fiance's a Niner fan. You might have some good gift for her. Uh, Steven's got the NFC North, Roderick NFC South, James Beck NFC East, Apollo NFC West, Steven AFC North and South, James AFC East, and AFC West is Pat Rich. Ring chasing minis. Apollo says I buy and sell memorabilia to help pay for medical bills. Stage four colon cancer. Well, Apollo, I wish her all the best. Uh, hopefully. She's able to beat cancer, uh, hoping for the best for her. And best of luck to you as well. If you're looking for stuff that's really worth a lot, uh, obviously the diamonds is the best bet uh, for the really heavy hitting stuff worth a bunch of money. Uh, so don't have any Packer stuff, says John. I'm a Ford Niner fan, so I'm a no-go unless you have Peyton Manning or Larry Bird, two of his other favorite guys he likes. Me too, John. Love Peyton Manning and Larry Bird. 
And John says, prayers for Apollo's fiance, uh, ditto. I wish her all the best. All right. We got ourselves a Browns mini, former Pro Bowl quarterback, Bernie Kozar. Nice and big on this one, Alex. Uh, the autograph is big. Uh, that's the AFC North. And that is Steven Lenhart. He is red hot in the break room today, Steven. Got a bunch of W's with not a bunch of spots, Alex. What does that mean? That means that Steven, at least on today's day, he's up on the break room. Yeah. Up in a big way. So Josh has a kiddo full-size authentic in an Ayuk jersey. Imagine from maybe this jersey break we just did even. Congrats, Steven. Bernie Kozar. And I think he's going to get the Earl Campbell as well. Unless that headliner board has any issues with it, Alex. But should be Earl Campbell and Roger Craig here in the last two mini helmets. All right, we'll put Bernie away. And fresh minis with fresh headliners is active, guys. The strip sack minis. Yes. Okay. Is that Warren Sapp on the Bucks Creamsicle? I see a Bucks Creamsicle. It's too far away, Alex, but I guess we'll find out shortly, right? Yeah. Here we go. Uh, this is our second mini. It is a headliner. Steven strikes again. Uh, we got the Hall of Fame running back, one of the best to ever do it, Earl Campbell, the beautiful Euler lid, uh, former MVP, Offensive Player of the Year, Heisman Trophy winner in college, uh, one of the best backs ever. Congrats, Steven, on Earl Campbell. Powerful running back. Tough to tackle this guy in the open field, to say the least. You know, either him or Warren Moon, we were talking about it earlier, uh, best Houston Oilers of all time. Can't go wrong. So, congrats to Steven. And then we got one more box, the last box in our mini helmets coming up. We'll put this Earl Campbell away. I don't know where my... Oh, my good pen's in my pocket, Alex. I was wondering oh. where my pen went. I put it You're in my pocket. ready to take it home. Yeah, I do. Steven does that all the time. I was pulling a Steven. All right, box 15, the Patrick Mahomes box. 15 of 25 here. All right, should be the Roger Craig. And it is Roger Craig with the gold ink on the Lunar Mini Helmet. The first guy ever to have 1,000 rushing yards and 1,000 receiving yards in the same season. One of three guys ever to do it. NFC West, Apollo St. Clair. How about on the Roger Craig? The fiance is a Niner fan. Whether you sell this to pay for medical bills or you just give this to her as a gift, this should certainly help uplift her spirit. Congrats, Apollo, on Roger Craig. Very nice. A very, very nice hit. Uh, a guy as a running back that led the league in catches one season. He's got multiple rings, multiple Pro Bowls. Uh, a guy that, in my opinion ought to be in the Hall of Fame. The numbers are good, Alex. They're maybe not as good as you would think because, you know, he played for the Niners. Rice got the ball all those years, but yep. he was really good, Roger Craig. I mean, first guy to go 1,000-1,000. Right? Trendsetter, Marshall Falk and Christian McCaffrey, the only two yeah. guys to do it since. Not Tomlinson, though. I think they just wanted him to run too much. I think that's, yeah, what, that, I think that's the problem. In today's era, he might have been able to do yeah, it. Yeah, right? Special teams, special plays, says Kenny. Special players. Special players, yes. Special teams and special players indeed. All right. So minis are in the books. Uh, brand new mini helmet series is up. Let's take a quick peek at the new minis here. Uh, pretty good list if this page will load. Come on, minis. Come on. Let me see if our other page, if it's just that mini. Uh, diamonds? Ah, uh, come on, break page. Right when I need it to work the most, Alex. So I'll give this a second. I'll refresh this. Uh, we'll get those minis up for you guys. But I can give you the names, Alex. Jerome Bettis, Andre Johnson, Warren Sapp, 
Roger Staubach, Demarcus Ware, DJ Moore, George Kittle, Niner fans, uh, Tyree Kill, and Brandon Ayuk for Niner fans. And then we do have that Jameer Gibbs mini as well, Alex. So, a lot of good stuff. Uh, Pat Rich, to be honest with you, buddy, you have not missed much of anything. We pulled a couple fillers on personals in the jerseys and reps. Had some good names. Earl Campbell and Roger Craig on mini helmets. But certainly nothing major yet. The diamonds have not filled up yet. So, uh, you have not missed anything crazy, Pat. Your boy Steve Young in the diamonds. And your boy Joe Montana in the vault series. I also know Kenny is referencing a, a, a streamer who's been blowing up named Sketch with the special team special plays. Ah, see, I didn't know what that was, but I like it. I gotta tell that streamer to watch our show, Alex. <laughs> uh, that's what you should do. So, Apollo says, I hit this week on the Marcus Ware full size, Dorsett full size, Thurman Thomas full size, Rodney Harrison full size, Aiden Hutchinson full size. Refrigerator Perry jersey and a Jose Altuve jersey. Full sizes, I think, are authentic. I'm waiting for the shipments from this week's breaks. Okay. It's a pretty good list for Apollo. Uh, and those shipments should be coming soon. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, typically, Alex, we ship. Uh, so uh, those should be coming to you shortly, I imagine, my friend. That's not a bad haul for Apollo. No, I've seen not Apollo a, bad, a lot, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, that's not a bad haul at all, brother. Congratulations, Apollo. Hey, Bayern Munich up 1-0, Alex. There you go. So I have a separate bet just on them. Mm -hmm. Then I have a separate bet on a parlay, which is probably not going to hit unless Real Madrid and Man City start scoring like crazy, mm -hmm. which they might. Uh, they certainly can. I never know. So, guys, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? 32 folks watching. Uh, what are we thinking as far as breaks? A um, lot of great options. I would probably head to the diamonds first, Alex, where we have the least amount of boxes left. You know, 13 boxes for a Steve Young Chrome Flex. That's probably where I would head. Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, Ego Quad, Justin Jefferson, Marshall Falk. Uh, that's that's my personal favorite break right now. Link to which one, Pat? Uh, let me drop this is I'll drop the do you want the diamond link or the break page link of course my break page is your break page weird Alex oh, my, can you check I want to check on my phone too because it's being really slow for me for some oh, reason mine's all good I know my computer was being slow yesterday so maybe oh, I'll maybe, transfer to yours yeah right let me look real quick it might just be my computer then as we say sometimes technology technology is arrives with Lilo and Stitch Yes. Yeah, my break page works just fine on my phone. So let me. Can you drop in a link for Pat and I can copy and paste? Yes. Oh, hold on. I just got it, Alex. There we go. Here we go, Pat. Here's the live break page link. And Pat, I'll drop a link to the Diamond Double where that Steve Young resides, where we have only three spots left, Alex. Here we go. Ah, you see? It was just a temporary thing. Yeah. We back, baby. We back. Now, one thing that Pat probably doesn't want to hear, but we were crunching numbers earlier, Alex, the one guy that could pass up Jerry Rice's all-time receiving mark is Justin oh, yeah. Jefferson. Mm -hmm. It's wild to think about. Four years in the league, he's at just under 6,000 yards. He's saying 1,500 yards a season. He's averaging. That's nuts. So, you know, what is that, six times four? Uh, he would basically have to play – another 12 seasons and he would break rice's record yeah so it's it's possible unless he averages like 1800 a season for then him. he'll break it sooner yeah that's that's wild i mean he just had over 1800 the last year he was healthy alex uh, jay jettas so we pulled rice earlier today by the way in the break room let me see jerry rice's all-time receiving mark jerry rice stats mm -hmm. Are you crunching the numbers, Alex? Let's see. What's so, minus Jefferson. Rice is 22,895, almost 23. So, I mean, if he averaged 1,700 yards a season for 10 years, he would break it. He I know, do that. I know it yards, sounds crazy. 100 yards a game. Jay Jettis could definitely do that. For, for 10 years, 100 yards And a he game. does that. His, uh, you know, his value is only going to go up, Alex. And look oh, at the, yeah. Look at the numbers here. What did you say? 1,500? He, he would need he needs seventeen hundred more to break it. I mean it's sixteen thousand nine hundred ninety six, so seventeen hundred we'll say. 
eighteen oh nine in twenty twenty two. Yep. Uh, yeah, seventeen hundred a year would break it on the dot. Mm-hmm. I mean, years. he would have had seventeen hundred last year had he played more. Yep. He had he was on pace for more than seventeen hundred. That's for sure. Well, think about it too. If, if the Vikings hit on a quarterback in the draft, Oof. I and mean, I say, what if they don't? Well, look at these numbers last year. Kirk Cousins out much of the season. A lot of this damage was done without Kirk Cousins as well. Well, yeah, because he was hurt even when Kirk Cousins was playing. And, and, and even if, let's just say, that a quarterback they get is bad, what does a bad quarterback do? Go to the best wide receiver. Right? So he's going to get his looks and his numbers no matter what. Justin Jefferson out there in that diamond C- series on the Lunar Authentic. Uh, that break is now three spots to go. Pat, Pat Rich is loving the vault, and I don't blame him. Got a bunch in the vault? Two more in the vault. He's got four total spots in that double. All right. You know what he wants? He wants the Joe Montana. Yeah, of course. I mean, Pat, what quarterback is better to you, Montana or Steve Young? Uh, good news, we have both in the break room, like, right? That's like picking between your two kids. Right? You just can't. You love them both. Yeah, he'll pick the first one. Montana was first. Yeah. That's the reasoning. Yeah, right? there you go. And Joe Montana, uh, he was first. Uh, John Elway still out there in here, by the way. We got the best defensive player in the league, TJ Watt. Uh, we have uh, the top two receivers stats-wise this last year, Tyreek Hill and CeeDee Lamb. The second best receiver all-time stats-wise, Randy Moss with the straight cash homie inscription. I uh, love Randy Moss. I mean, this dude, it's kind of crazy how the Vikings just always get these receivers. You know, Randy Moss, uh, obviously Chris Carter, mm-hmm. now Justin Jefferson, and Pat says Montana, so that makes sense why he's in that vault break. Although, let's be honest, Pat, you can walk away with Montana in the vault and Steve Young in the Diamonds. Both can happen this show. Yeah. Uh, both can happen this show. Hey, we got one-to-one one in my soccer game, Alex. Need two more goals, baby. Man City has tied it. Uh, so, hoping for that to hit the parlay. I'm hoping Freeman ties it with the home runs. Yeah, he probably will. He probably will. So, what are you guys thinking at home? What are these guys getting into, Alex? Uh, practice squad double as well. So, I mean, we're close on the three best breaks right now. Practice squad double, vault double, and diamond double. Making moves, making moves on that break page. We are making big time moves. The only question is what's going to sell first? Because I'll be honest with you, all those breaks will sell. I mean, f- filled with huge names. Uh, Big Ben on the flat wide in the practice squad. Uh, Top 10 quarterback of all time. Vault has a couple of top 10 quarterbacks. Joe Montana and, of course, John Elway. And, of course, the Diamonds. We have the NFL's all-time leading rusher, Michael, or Emmitt Smith, excuse me. We have the Steve Young, Jay Jettas. We got everything, right? Quarterback, running back, receiver. What these guys like, it's all out there in all these breaks. What do you think is going to fill up first, Alex? Well, I'm going I'm to go with the practice squad. I just had two orders in it from Chris uh, Clayton and Chris Ripka. Okay. So we're three away on that. You know where Chris Clayton needs to be? Uh, the vault. Uh, he wants that sick uh, Sauce Gardner uh, Hydroflex. Three to go on the practice squad, three to go on the diamonds, four to go on the vault. Hey, don't give that Curtis Martin away. Comment, LOL. I'm looking forward to to it if I don't get a trade offer. Well, I'm not giving it away, uh, John. Uh, This one is yours, buddy. And uh, this is definitely your helmet. Uh, This was one earlier today. This sick Lunar Speed Flex, Curtis Martin. And he got this in a practice squad. I don't know if it was the single or the double, but I think he had one spot. He got it for like 49 or 98 bucks. Talk about a bargain, uh, John Wells. Yeah, I think the 98. Mm. Well worth it. Oh, yeah. Uh, 100% well worth it for John. So let's make it happen, guys. Uh, let's make it happen. I got a question for you, Alex. What helmet? I- I'm going to eliminate the, the speed flexes. Like, of course. I'm going to eliminate the Sauce Gardner and the Steve Young. What non speed flex helmet do you most want to see in the brakes right now? Ooh. I Just to make it hard for you, right? That off white Big Ben. It looks sick in the Yeah, I think spot. it's a flat white. Flat white, flat white. Yeah, it looks clean. Yeah, that one's got to be up there for me. I mean, that, I mean, the Jettas. We've been talking about, he's the one guy who could break Terry Rice's record. Why not? 
with the purple ink, right? Yep. Look at this thing, the clean lunar. A mossy guy says Elway all the way. The Elway slate oh, in the vault. Good. That's a great one. My favorite is actually either Barry Sanders with the 1997 NFL MVP or Randy Moss with the straight cash homie. Mm. Beauty about those two helmets, you can get them with one spot in the vault double in the mm. NFC North. Again, $999.99 for a Randy Moss retail price on fanatics.com. You're going to do that for a whole lot cheaper. Want to go on that diamond double? I think the diamond is going to be first. Uh, did Pat get a couple spots in there? Yeah, he's got two spots in all the best breaks. Let's go, Pat. It's as if this guy knows what's going on in this break room. One to go in that diamond double. Is Chris Cornwall in there? Yep. All right, Chris is a Cowboy fan, wants that Emmett Smith and Michael Irvin. So one to go in the diamond, three left in the practice squad, and the vault each. All three of those breaks are coming up soon. Uh, love to hear that, man. Those are the three biggest breaks right now. The three best breaks in the room right now. Yeah. I mean, minis, jerseys are good, of course, but uh, I like authentics. I like yeah. getting authentics. I like getting them for a fraction of the cost. You know, whether it's 90 bucks, 49 98 180 whether you're in the single, the double, uh, all those authentics are worth uh, a lot more than whatever the spot you're paying for is. So that's the place to be, guys. Uh, the practice squad, the vault, and the diamonds. And I'm, they don't need me to tell them because that's what they're buying into, Alex. Exactly. Uh, they get it. Uh, these guys get it. Our customers are very, very smart people. They want the big names. They want the authentic helmets. They want the real value out there in the break room. Of course. Because an authentic helmet unautographed is three to 400 bucks alone. Yeah. Uh, you start getting these autographs, these custom lids, these inscriptions... The value skyrockets, you know, more than double, more than triple sometimes, only goes up. Uh, actually, many times, believe it or not, Alex, an authentic helmet unautographed is worth more than an autographed jersey or mini. Yeah, oh yeah. Because they're cooler, they're bigger, uh, they're cream of the crop. Diamond double. Diamond double, let's go. Only 13 left in this series. Only 13 left. Diamond double number one. And go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys, for the diamond double box. We got Chris, uh, Cornwell, Jonathan Farrow, James Beck, Jeanette Lee, Pat Rich, and Ryan Glover. First come, first serve on those box numbers, guys. Uh, let's have it. Who's left in the vault, says Josh. Almost everybody, Josh. Uh, I think the only ones gone are Drew Brees... Uh, I think we pulled... Did we pull one earlier today? Uh, there's only a couple gone in that vault. I think the the Curtis Martin was the vault, wasn't it? No, Curtis Martin was practice the practice squad. squad. So I think the only vault... Shannon Sharp is gone yeah. in the vault and O.J. Simpson. Everything else is left. We pulled Ankh yesterday. Yes. So Tyreek Hill, Barry Sanders, Micah Parsons, Sauce Gardner, CeeDee Lamb, Michael Irvin, T.J. Watt, Randy Moss... Joe Montana and John Elway, a.k.a. a bunch of stuff. Uh, what's up, Jeanette? Jeanette wants box 12. Uh, one more, Jeanette, or someone else in the break. It is a double box break in those diamonds. 12 going off the ticker. Running low on diamonds, Alex. Yeah. Running low. Only be 11 after this double. Right. And there's going to be headliners left no matter what. Uh, we got Jeanette with 26 as well. I think you, Jeanette. 26 going off the ticker in the diamonds. Uh, 12 and 26 coming up here. Making moves on that break page. You guys are doing work. Love to see this, Alex. These guys are doing a lot of work. Steve Young, just a matter of moments, perhaps. Michael Irvin, Emmett Smith, all these guys should be coming out this show, most likely. If not the show, for sure, uh, tonight in the breaks. All right, we got six clicks on our randomizer. Let me get these guys set up in our breaks here. All right. We got three, four five and six 
All right, Jonathan's got the NFC North. We got Pat, the NFC South. Chris, the NFC East. Jeanette's got the NFC West. Pat's got the AFC North. James, the AFC South. Jonathan, AFC East. And Ryan Glover, AFC West. We got a double box break coming up. Let's start with number 12 here. Alex, what do we got inside the Brady box, the Rogers box, the Bob Greasy, the Roger uh, Staubach, all these great quarterbacks. Uh, number 12 they are. Speaking of great quarterbacks, how about some box number mojo, Jeanette? The Chrome Speed Flex, Steve Young, baby. Look at this golden, it's gold, baby. It is as golden as it gets, Alex. Uh, the red visor as well. The best lefty quarterback of all time. Wow. Jeanette Lee paid how much for this? 180 bucks. This is That's probably it. worth more than 10 times that, Alex. On the six, Steve Young. She says awesome. Dark Wolf says very nice. Uh, very nice indeed. She called it and she got it. Yeah, two-time league MVP, a Super Bowl MVP. Record six passing touchdowns in the big game. Steve Young was a record-breaking quarterback, to say the least. When he retired, Alex had the best passer rating in league history. Mm -hmm. Steve Young did. Uh, so three Super Bowl titles, one as the starter, two as the backup. I led the league in passer rating six times, passing touchdowns four times, completion percentage five times. Uh, he made seven straight Pro Bowls at one point. An absolute icon, pro and college football Hall of Famer, uh, the great Steve Young. Ooh. Pat Rich says, nice hit. Uh, very nice, says JW. Uh, any chance of a trade, question mark, he says. And hit of the show says, uh, Dark Wolf. Casper's got the fire emojis. Uh, incredible stuff there on the Steve Young. Shoot your shot, John. But I always say this, Alex. A lot of times when we see these custom lids, people usually either keep these or they sell them. Yeah. Uh, very rarely, rarely do people actually trade uh, the custom chrome flexes, but Jeanette, you got some offers because this helmet is absolute fire. And she says, nope. Nope. Well, figures. And that figures, like I said, people do not want to trade these. It's either sell or keep. Uh, it's a keeper, it's says keeper. Jeanette. So yeah, it, it is definitely a keeper. One Alex. spot hitting that, something else. All right? That's how we do in the diamond. Steve Young. Cream of the crop helmet on one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Love this. He was a really good scrambler back in the day, too. A guy that did everything, absolutely no weaknesses for the great Steve Young. Really had to learn to become a passer. He mm -hmm. said it, too. He said if he didn't learn to become a pocket passer, he wouldn't have been the quarterback that he is. Yeah. He was able to do both. He gets the game. He gets the game, Steve Young. Uh, learn behind Joe Montana, who, by the way, in the break room, uh, Joe Montana and the Volf. That could be a uh, very soon chase here in our break room. Could be a massive chase very soon here at UA. We do have one more box in the double box. Uh, let's see what else we can get here. Emmett Smith, maybe, Michael Irvin, uh, the four Eagle quarterback autograph. These are all possibilities. All right. Well, I mean, it just keeps getting better for Jeanette. She already got one hit. Now she gets a second one. Wow. And actually is a dual signed. We got Jim Zorn, Ooh. Steve Largent, the quarterback to the wide receiver. Hall of Fame 95 for Steve Largent. And the touchdown Seahawks inscription. Uh, sick Lunar Authentic Jeanette. Uh, how about it? Steve Young and now Steve Largent and Jim Zorn. Have a day. Uh, that's incredible, Jeanette. One spot for all that. Uh, Steve Largent, in my opinion, I say this all the time, probably the most underrated receiver ever. Mm -hmm. He's tied for 10th all-time in receiving touchdowns, and all the guys ahead of him played in the 90s and or 2000s. He yeah. played in the 80s, in the 70s, Alex. Uh, great stuff right there. Mill Creek Sports certified on the Jim Zorn, Steve Largent, dual-signed Lunar Authentic. How about it? Now that's the point of the double box breaks, right, Alex? Oh, yeah. And you can still double up with Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, and or that Eagle four autograph helmet as well.
Uh, Pat Rich says, congrats. Big congrats indeed to Jeanette Lee, Alex. That's how you do it, Jeanette. That is how you do it here in the UA Live break room. I love the dual sign, too, with the arrows. Mm -hmm. I mean, just how they draw it up back then. Jim Zorn to Steve Largent. So I would say we should run this back, Alex, right? I mean, you could still double up with Emmitt Smith and Michael Irvin. That's always the reason to run Absolutely. Double. Or the four-eagle quarterback that too? signature. Yeah. Now, NFC East, all of a sudden, the hot spot in those diamonds. And there's only 11 left now, Alex. That's it. 11 left. We got five headliners left. Jay Jettas, Marshall Falk, Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, and the four quarterback Eagle led. Pat says that she's single. Oh, oh, oh okay. There we go. All right, Pat. Is he trying to like uh, woo her to give him give him the helmet or something? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? I know Ronnie and Salako had no luck oh, with the ladies, no, but Pat Rich maybe. Maybe a little bit more luck. You only had luck with chalupas. Yes, chalupas, and tacos. that was about it. Tacos, that was Ronnie's Ronnie's thing. Uh, and so Lurko's lurking out there. Uh, he, he might be. He might be. He, he's always watching, Ronnie. He's always watching. I uh, like Larry Rosslin. These are guys that we know are watching every show, Alex. Uh, watching every show. Can you blame them? This is fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, I always tell the guys, play when you can. You know, spend the money that you have uh, doing this. But if you don't have money, you don't have, you know, a chance to play, never hurts to watch, right? Ooh. Never hurts to watch. Uh, so, three left in the vault, three left in the practice squad. Oh, yeah. We just saw a double up. Let's talk about some potential future double ups here shortly. NFC East. Micah Parsons, C.D. Leanne, Michael Irvin in the vault. Uh, NFC North, Randy Moss, Barry Sanders. Uh, those are some great double-up possibilities in the vault, for example. Uh, we have the practice squad. Uh, how about my Steeler fans out there? Ben Roethlisberger, Jerome Bettis, one spot, two helmets. Uh, how about Washington fans? Super Bowl champion jersey and a Terry McLaurin helmet. NFC East, Brian Dawkins, also NFC East. NFC West would just happen, Alex. Sean Alexander, Puka Nakua, both of those are Flash Authentics. Uh, Jeanette says, LOL. Uh, you know what I'll say, Pat? That's a kind of way of saying, no, no thank you. <laughs> no thanks. Nah, no thanks. Oh, we got Steven closing out that vault double. What's up, Steve Owen? Steven making the moves in the vault double. Steven's had a day today. Yeah, he has. Uh, I say he's playing with house money for the day. You know, I don't oh, know yeah. what his lifetime is, but his day total, he's definitely playing with house money today. He's been cooking in the breaks. Absolutely cooking. All right, we got Pat, James, and Steven uh, in this vault double box. And practice squad double probably not far behind Alex. Uh, 354, usually... Uh, three to four is busy. It's good. Four to five, five thirty in the early shows. The three p.m. show is when it gets real busy, right? The East Coasters get home mm -hmm. and they want to party in the break room. So this will only get busier. So I'll give you guys about thirty seconds. Uh, let's see those box numbers. Bayern Munich wins, Alex. There it is. Cash it. I'm gonna miss this one, so I'm gonna go mm -hmm. one for two because I had the parlay, then I had the individual bet I'll give these guys about 30 seconds on a box number two box numbers otherwise we're going to the wheel once the wheel is up box numbers are final so let's hear it folks all right Pat James and Steven I'm pulling up the wheel uh, the wheel will pick. Vault is out of 35, Alex. 35 wheels going up. Oh, hold on. We got a buzzer beater. The wheel was not up yet. Box three from Steven. And Pat wants 24. All right, thank you, guys. Three and 24 should be valid in that vault. So 20 to 23. Then we'll go 25 
All right, thank you, folks. Let's see if we have Barry Sanders, Joe Montana, Randy Moss, John Elway. Moral of the story, there's so many headliners left. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten exactly that are photoed, Alex. So you guys should be jumping in the next one no matter what, right? Uh, Adam, the jerseys, I always recommend you refresh the break page. I'll check real quickly for you. Uh, but jerseys are four to go, Adam. So we'll definitely get at least one jersey break done this show because that is the chase wheel spin, right? Yep, four spots left. Six clicks here. Pat Rich, he missed out on Steve Young, but now we can get Joe Montana. And doesn't even have to ask for a lady's number or anything, Alex. No. He can win it himself. Uh, we got Pat NFC North, NFC South and East to Steven. Pat's got the NFC West, AFC North. James AFC South, Pat AFC East, and Stevens got the AFC West in the vault double box. We're starting with box three, the Allen Iverson box. What do we got here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Alex. A full-size authentic is what we got here. It's a, it's a filler hit, actually. Believe it or not, what a great filler hit it is, though. We got Thurman Thomas, the 1991 NFL MVP, uh, Pat Rich, AFC East, the pro and college football Hall of Fame running back, the guy that played ahead of Barry Sanders at Oklahoma State, a guy that helped the Bills get to four straight Super Bowls, uh, awesome running back, awesome hit, awesome autograph, too. Very clean on Thurman Thomas. Uh, with Jim Kelly, Andre Reid. Uh, had a really good run there in Buffalo. Only team to make four straight Super Bowls, Alex. Uh -huh. It's never happened before. I bet it'll happen at some point. I'm hoping it happens with Kansas City, actually. It could. Uh, but it's tough. Yeah, four in a row is tough, man. That is tough. So we even have authentic fillers in here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, nice hits as Mossy Guy. When we first had the vault, it was at first it was a mixer where we had minis and jerseys, authentics and reps. And now there's no minis, there's no jerseys. It's all either authentic or rep. Mm -hmm. And then when, at first it was authentic or rep. All the photo headliners were authentic. And a lot of the fillers, almost all of them were reps. Now the reps uh, and authentics are just as common as filler hits, right? Yeah. Could be either. And the price point has only gone up like two three four bucks not much uh, not much of a difference in the price point but a much bigger difference in quality pat says nice thanks right on sir uh congratulations on that first hit box 24 is coming up next this one i also think is authentic alex do we have an authentic headliner next perhaps or is it another filler authentic I just said it's mind-boggling. We got filler authentics in this series. Ooh, we got a filler authentic. Not on the helmet you would think it would be on. It's one of the best defensive linemen of all time. Jared Allen, the Viking legend, on the Chief helmet. About that. Uh, most career safeties of all time. More than 100 career sacks. One of the best pass rushers in the game. Jared Allen on the Chiefs. Authentic, not a Viking authentic, a chief for Jared Allen. So it's Stephen Lenhart. Stephen wins again. Congrats on Jared Allen. Another really good filler. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Had more than 130 career sacks among the most all time. Gotta love Jared Allen. Dude was a beast. Dude was a beast. NFL all-time sack leaders, official leaders since 82. Uh, he is 12th all-time. Uh, so 16th all-time if we count unofficial since 1960, Alex. Uh, 136 career sacks, Jared Allen. That's a lot. Real nice hit says Pat. That's a cool lid. And that is just the filler. The diamonds in the vault in particular, Alex, they're all headliner quality, right? 
Every single helmet is uh, fantastic. So good stuff right there for Steven. Practice squad next, maybe? Still three away. Mm, diamonds are moving, I see, though. One spot knocked off in this next diamond. Door. Who got in? Newcomer, Kim. What's up, Kim? Shout out to Kim if you're watching. Let us know the squad, and welcome, welcome to Ultimate Autographs. Maybe a Cowboy fan looking for Emmett Smith and Michael Irvin. Chance. Well, that could be a possibility. Well, that could be a possibility. I know what Pat's going to do. He's going to jump right back in this break. Of course. Right? I mean, Joe Montana's still out there, Pat. Uh, definitely one you ought to get after, right? I love me some Joe Montana. And he's not even my favorite hit in the series, by the way, Alex. I personally like the uh, Barry Sanders and Randy Moss as my two favorites uh, in the vault. But that's just me. Personal preference, of course, right? It's all a matter of personal preference. All right. We'll put this Steve Young back uh, out here on the desk. This will be tough to top. There's some lids that will get close. This one will be tough to top, Alex, for here to the show today. Not the last speed flex out there, though. We do have that Hydro Flex Sauce Gardener lurking. I would love to see that big Ben Roethlisberger, right? Let's join uh, this Hall of Fame quarterback with the future Hall of Famer Big Ben. Uh, flat white Big Ben out there uh, in the practice squad. Only three spots left. Um, Jerome Bettis still out there. Brian Dawkins, Terry McLaurin, Sean Alexander, Puka Nakua, Max Crosby, the triple sign Washington jersey. You know, Alex, I often talk about what receiver would you most want of the young guys. And you'll hear me bring up Justin Jefferson as number one. He's out there in the diamonds. C.D. Lamb or Jamar Chase as number two and three. C.D. Lamb out there in the vault. One guy, you always remind me, Puka Nakua. Puka. Don't forget about Puka, because he had more receiving yards as a rookie than all, than all those guys, right? Broke their, broke their little... They were second and third all-time for rookie. Yeah. But he's number one. He's number one. Puka Nakua, most rookie receiving yards of all time. Steven getting in the vault single. We Let's do have go, singles. Steven. Ah, Pat, enjoy Alaska. We'll definitely miss you in the break room, but ah, enjoy Alaska. Says I'm cool. leaving for... Kodiak, Alaska tonight. About that? So I'll be back next month. Thanks for all the great hits. You're welcome, Pat. You're very welcome. Thanks so much for playing. Uh, what's in Alaska? I'm kind of curious. Cool. Yeah, business or pleasure? Family? I don't know. Maybe a little bit of all. Maybe a little bit of all. So Alaska probably in the summer has got to be nice. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to go there in the winter, Alex. I'll say that. No. Uh, but um, that's cool, Pat. Enjoy it. Uh, definitely enjoy Alaska. Chris Cornwell getting into the two best breaks, the diamond double and vault double. Well, you know why, right? He's a Cowboy fan. He wants to double up with the Irvin and Smith in the diamonds and the Irvin and Lamb in the vault or the Parsons and Lamb or the Parsons and Irvin. He probably actually wants the Irvin and Smith in the diamonds and the Lamb and Parsons in the vault. That way he gets all four, right? We are one to go. Steven got us one to go in the jerseys and practice squad double. All right, perfect. One to go in that practice squad double, one to go in the jerseys. Uh, those two breaks are very much coming up. 4.04, guys. Still early in the 3 p.m. hour. Keep those orders coming. And he says, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ball doubles five away. All right, well, Pat, if you're going to go tonight, you might as well get all your orders now, right? Oh, yeah, he's got in the ball double. J just to clarify too, Pat, if by any chance you do have a little bit of off time in Alaska – and you want to play the breaks, we are more than happy to hold your helmets. Yeah. Because I know sometimes guys go on vacation, they don't want their helmets, you know, left out on the porch. They don't want things to get lost. If you let us know, you email our customer service team, we are more than happy to keep all helmets on hold for a month or however much long you would want them to be held for in our warehouse. Well, that's just an option. But if he's got, you know, family time, do the family time. I get that, yeah. Alex, right? That's one of the reasons why you take a break from breaks. But it's just an option in case he wants to take a break here and there during his Alaska trip. I don't know if he's somewhere really cold and the service will be bad. I'm not sure. 
Is he going ice fishing, Alex? Maybe. 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 So, uh, definitely jerseys and practice squad coming up shortly. Uh, vault single, five to go. Take practice squad double first. Practice squad double first. Vault double, also five to go. So, practice squad double on the way. Is it the first practice squad double? It is of this show. All right, go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys, for the practice squad. We're talking about practice, baby. Not the game. We're talking about practice. The break game here at UA, right? We should just put an Allen Iverson item and make it a top spot draw in the, into the practice I squad. I mean, I want to like get him to sponsor the break or something. That'd be cool. Every time it pops up, we have a video of him. We put in the videos, mm -hmm. and it's just him talking. We talk about practice. Oh, man, would, we, would we be allowed to just put him in the graphic? Like, just like a picture of his face? That'd be fun. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure Jessica could make it happen. Uh, Steven wants 7 and 31. Thank you, sir. I know it can be it can be done. I just didn't know if he, that's something we'd get in trouble for. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a great question, Alex. So, we should have both of those. 7 and 31 looking for Big Ben number 7 in here. Maybe in box 7, Alex. Could be a little bit of positive box number mojo, right? Could be. John Elway in the vault is out there, number seven. So James, Pat, Chris Clayton, Chris Ripka, then a bunch of Steven Lenhart here to close out the practice squad. Double box. Double the boxes. Double the fun, Alex. Here we go, six clicks. Good luck, guys. All right, Pat Rich has the NFC North and the NFC South. Chris Clayton, the NFC East. Chris Ripka, the NFC West. Steven Lenhart, the AFC North. Steven, looking for uh, the Big Ben. James Beck, AFC South. Steven Lenhart, AFC East. And Steven's got the AFC West as well. All right, box seven coming up. Seven of 35 in the practice squad. What do we got next? This one feels kind of heavy. Alex, feeling heavy. Let's see here. Oh, my God. You cannot make this stuff up. It's number seven in box seven. Ooh. Ben Roethlisberger. Let's go, Steven. Box number mojo, AFC North. Big Ben in the house. Uh, one of the best quarterbacks of all time, two-time Super Bowl champion. Uh, he's pretty much top five all time in most categories. Uh, the sick flat white, the headliner fire, Stephen Lenhart, Big Ben Roethlisberger. Oh, my God. How about that? That's a hit, Alex. That is a hit if I ever saw one. Uh, so that Guys have been going for that a lot lately. The player number in the box, and this time it sure paid off. Most career games with 500 passing yards, four of them. Most completions in the game, 47. Most wins in a rookie season, 13. Uh, most games with a perfect pass rating, four. Uh, more than 64,000 passing yards, 418 passing touchdowns. One of the all-time great quarterbacks, Big Ben Roethlisberger. How about it? Nice hit, says Dark Wolf. Nice hit, says Casper. Nice hit indeed. Only four quarterbacks have more passing yards than Ben Roethlisberger. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, and Brett Favre. That's it. That's the list. Uh, so when people talk about top 10 quarterback of all time, I say most definitely for Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, I would say that would be the hit of the show, but this is extra golden, the chrome flex. Oh, yeah. So I would say number two hit of the show, uh, the great Ben Roethlisberger. Little quarterback theme here, Alex. Little yeah. quarterback theme uh, in the 3 p.m. show. Maybe Joe Montana next? John Elway? John Elway. Uh, these are possibilities, guys. Maybe both. Maybe both. Maybe both in the same break in the vault. Could be. It's possible. Vault's getting close. Getting close. Let's go, guys. How close, Alex? Three away. Three to go. The double? The double. All right. Two more boxes coming up in that vault. All right, I'll put the big pen away. We got one more box coming up in the double box for our practice squad. 
plenty of authentic helmets left, Alex. Uh, no doubt in that practice squad. Two away in the ball double. All right. We are literally knocking on that door here, guys. The second box in the practice squad is a mini helmet. Uh, this is a fantastic tight end back in the day. Fantastic flash. Five-time Pro Bowler. Three-time Super Bowl champion. Jay Novacek. Played with Aikman, Irvin, and Smith. Is this foreshadowing to Emmett Smith and Michael Ooh. Irvin in the Diamonds? Good point. Uh, could be a possibility. JSA certified. What's up, Casper? Chris Clayton. That's Casper with the Jay Novacek mini. So, uh, there we go, Chris. We'll get that one written up. We're going to do a jersey, though. Jerseys are next. Jersey single box coming up next, Alex. Means we will have a chase. Excellent. Love spinning that wheel. Jay Novacek, Troy Aikman, safety blanket back in the day. All righty. Let's see. Love Hurts. Uh, we, oh, got a, a new guy in here. Jonathan Gemzer. What's up, Jonathan? New guy. Let us know what team you like and how you heard about UA. We got Apollo St. Clair, Adam Christensen, Jacob Harris, Stephen Lenhart again, and John Wells in here for the jerseys. Jersey single number one. Go ahead and drop me a box number. Uh, these guys all get in the chase wheel spin, Alex. Realistically, we might do one more jersey break. Maybe just one, maybe two. Uh, but these guys will definitely have a shot at that chase wheel spin uh, this program. Uh, John is ready. He wants box 32. Thank you, John. Speaking of two... Two to go in the vault single, two to go in the vault double. Both of those breaks are coming up soon. 32. All righty. John in the jerseys. The Ricky Waters box for John Wells, right? He'll like that reference as a Niner fan. Uh, former great Niner running back, Ricky Waters. All right, throwing all these guys into a randomizer. Let's rock and roll here with our jerseys. 35 folks watching, plenty of eyeballs. Could be plenty, plenty of orders here, guys. All right, Steven Lenhart has the NFC North. NFC South is Jonathan Gemzer. Uh, NFC East is Steven. NFC West is Steven. Adam's got the AFC North, Apollo's got the AFC South, Jacob AFC East, and John, you've got the AFC West in Love Hurts. 32 of 35 coming up. Here's one both, both you and I like. One of the best Bears of my generation, uh, the former Defensive Player of the Year, it is Brian Erlacher, pro and college football Hall of Famer. Uh, this dude's a beast. I mean, he was great in his era. Alex, this is a guy that would be great in any era because oh, yeah. he's fast, right? The uh, running backs, the tight ends, this guy could stop them. Congrats, Steven, on the Erlacher jersey. Very cool. My first ever football jersey, Alex, was a Brian Erlacher orange jersey. There you go. Uh, not autographed, but very cool. Uh, congrats, Steven, on the Erlacher hit. Yeah, I love him. He was the... Biggest part of that 05 Bear team, that great defense. Uh, that defense and Devin Hester that carried the Bears to the Super Bowl, right? Uh, so, good job, Steven. I mean, this guy just keeps on winning, Alex. I mean, he's getting at everything. It makes sense. Uh, there's not a break that he doesn't want to play because he wins all of them, right? He's winning all of them. And we do have five breaks, and I think we've broken for the cycle, Alex, already. I think so. Yeah. So great job, guys. Uh, minis, jerseys, diamonds, of course, vault, practice squad, every one of these breaks we have seen this show. And they're all great. Obviously, the diamonds and the vault and the practice squad are probably top three. But the minis and jerseys are good as well. There's no bad break on the break page, right? They're all fantastic. Vault is coming up. The single, Steven versus James. 
Vault single on the way. Vault single number one. Go ahead and drop me a box number, guys. I'm guessing Steven will call him out because box number mojo has been working for him, Alex. Yes. Has been working. So give these guys about 30 seconds here in a box number. Otherwise, I'll let the wheel decide. Steven, remind me your team, brother. Steven Lenhart, remind me what squad you're at. And two to go in that vault double box, Alex. We are knocking on that door in the vault double. He's a Bronco fan. Well, that makes sense why he's in this break. The John Elway Slate Authentic. It makes perfect sense now, right? Yes, it does. Uh, that's the best break for a Bronco fan, that's for sure. James Beck, what's your team, brother? James Beck wants 13. Looking for a lucky number 13 here in the vault. All right, James. We'll get 13 off the ticker. We'll rock and roll with 13 here. What do you think, Alex? 13 lucky or unlucky? I'm an unlucky 13. Unlucky 13? I can't decide because my grandma thought 13 was bad. My girlfriend thinks 13 is great, so I don't know who to trust. And James is a Viking fan. You are very much in the right break room. Uh, we have in this vault series a Randy Moss Flash Authentic, and we have a Justin Jefferson Lunar Authentic in the Diamonds. Uh, Jettas and Moss very much available in our breaks. And we did actually have Chris Carter as well, but he went earlier today. Uh, pulled that Chris Carter helmet earlier today. All right, six clicks. Good luck, guys. Five and six. I'm going to read the spots that uh, Steven doesn't have because he's got six out of eight. Uh, James, you've got the NFC North looking for the Randy Moss. And James has the AFC South. Steven... You've got the rest, including the AFC West, for your boy John Elway, right? Well, that's a good spot for him. We got the Dan Marino box looking for John Elway. Uh, they were drafted together in that 84 draft back in the day. Hey, we got a vault key, Alex. I almost forgot these were out there because we keep skipping them, right? Yeah. Only our second vault key. What is a vault key? It's a bonus gift card. You get the item plus a pick at a letter, which will go anywhere from 50 bucks to 300 bucks on a gift card. Uh, now it's 100 to 300 because the 50 did get pulled earlier today. I think it was yesterday, actually. Well, well, well. How about this? How about this? Uh, I know Steven especially wants the John Elway, but he's getting another Bronco quarterback, former Pro Bowler, Ooh. Jake the Snake. Plummer, Jake Plummer on the Retro Bronco helmet. Uh, it is Schwartz certified right there. Uh, congratulations, Steven, on Jake Plummer. Now, Steven, you also get a bonus gift card. So we have Vault Key A, C, D, and E. So let me know what letter you want. You have some bonus money headed your way as well. So typically, Alex, the bonus hit is inside some of the Lesser hits in the series. A former Pro Bowl quarterback. A beautiful looking helmet. If that's one of the lesser hits, this vault series is fantastic. Oh, yeah. So, and Josh is saying what he's got. Jefferson Authentic and a Moss Stat jersey. Mr. Underwood's always looking for lions in the break room, right? And we do have the best line of all time currently in the break room. Barry Sanders in the vault. Uh, not to mention we have Jameer Gibbs in the minis. So a lot of great lion stuff in the room right now. Let me know, Stephen, what letter you would like. Otherwise, I will pick it at random for him, right, Alex? Yeah. I prefer to let them pick, though. It's always more fun if they pick the letters, they pick the numbers. Uh, it does make it a lot more fun for us. Jake Plummer. When I first started watching football, he was the Broncos quarterback. He wants C. All right. Uh, C, Alex. Let's fill up the double, says Josh. Uh, two spots left in the vault. 
I'm pretty sure there will be no issues with that, Josh. That vault double should fill up no problem. Right, Alex? Thank you, sir. We should have no issues with that vault double. All right, let's see what we got on the gift card here. Steven Lenhart, a little bit of bonus money coming your way, sir. Hundred bucks, hundred bucks for Steven. So good news, Alex, the 200 and the 300 are out there. So 50 is the low mark, 100 is second. I believe it's 200 is the, the second most and 300 is the most. So a lot of the big gift cards still out there in that vault break, guys. Uh, but let's be honest, Alex, vault keys aside, really, what do guys care about the most? The authentic helmets, because I mean, all the authentic helmets are worth more than a $300 gift card, a $200 gift card, a lot of awesome authentics left, like Randy Moss, like John Elway, like Barry Sanders, like Joe Montana, like TJ Watt, Micah Parsons, a Sauce Gardner Speed Flex. Uh, we got full-size reps, Michael Irvin, uh, we got CeeDee Lamb and Tyreek Hill. So we got some of the best receivers ever, some of the best receivers right now. Uh, All-time great quarterbacks in Montana and Elway. In my opinion, the best running back ever, Barry Sanders. We got just about everything you can want. Oh, yeah. I mean, running backs, quarterbacks, wide receivers, you guys are covered in the vault. Let's make this happen here, guys. Uh, only two spots to go in that double box. You can double up with Moss and Sanders, uh, Irvin and Lamb, Parsons and Lamb. Uh, these are awesome opportunities here to double up in this vault break. So get in there, guys. Uh, let's make it happen. Two to go. Otherwise, diamonds are six to go. And a little bit open right now, but that will definitely change on this break page, right? Oh, vault double's closed. The vault double closed just like that. Thank you, guys. Vault double. And go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys. First come, first serve in that vault double box. Yeah, there's no such thing as open in this break room. It's just a whole bunch of lockdown corners. Right? Uh, these guys definitely do work on our break page. I know that much, Alex. So we got Chris, we got Pat, we got James, we got Josh, we got Steven. Uh, Josh wants 15. Thank you, Josh. 15 works. And I need one more box number. Uno mas on the box call. One one in the 108th minute. Real Madrid and Man City. 4-4 four, four on aggregate. 22 says Josh. All right, Josh, thank you, sir. 15 and 22 coming up in the vault double box. Ooh, would you look at that, Alex? Chris Cornwell also wants 22. Oh, it's got to be good. I'm betting 22 is going to be fantastic. If two guys want it, it's got to be real good. I guess we'll start with 15 first, though. Uh, 15 will be first here out of 35 in the vault. This is a fantastic break. Uh, I imagine we'll be rocking and rolling with this vault for the rest of this program, right? I mean, I assume so. no reason why we shouldn't run back the vault. Absolutely no reason why. The Dodgers are just disappointed. They lost for you? They're, they're definitely going to lose. Ah, one out to go. How did they score no runs with that lineup? It doesn't matter. Oh, Tani went three for four. Oh, my God. Brutal. Mookie didn't do much. Oh for four. Ah, Mook. Uh, we got James back in the NFC North. Josh McKinnis, the NFC South. Pat Rich, NFC East. James Beck, NFC West. We got Steven Lenhart, AFC North. Uh, Pat Rich has the AFC South. Chris Cornwell, AFC East. And Steven Lenhart, AFC West. James Beck said he's a Viking fan. Oh. Looking for Randy Moss. And he wants Barry Sanders to boot. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Josh in the NFC South. This was the hot spot earlier. We did pull that sick Drew Brees. There's an Alvin yeah. Kamara still out there. A Michael Vick. Uh, there's definitely some goodies all across the break page. 
But I get it when there's a Montana, when there's an Elway, when there's a Sauce Gardner or Barry Sanders. You want one of those photo headliner spots, right? Of course. And that's what everybody wants. I always say, though, be careful. Don't scoff at any divisions because there's always options in every single division in the break room. For example, Josh McKinnis, case proven. Uh, we got the Mike Allstott full-size rep helmet. The Super Bowl champion inscription. Uh, the best fullback I, have, I ever watched, Alex. Uh, Six-time Pro Bowler, Mike Allstott. Super Bowl champion. Had more than 900 rushing yards in a season. He's a Purdue Boilermaker. A dude that would run guys over at will. And I know I sent you that video, man. Uh, people that don't know about Mike Allstott, this dude was a force back in the oh, day. Yeah. His highlight reel was fantastic. That helmet is fantastic. Uh, Josh McKinnis, very nice. Now, Josh, this time it worked out, but I always warn these guys, whenever you start putting it out there, mm -hmm. yuck on this division, usually the karma does not pay off for you. This was a rare example where it did pay off, Alex, but, uh, you know, never... Never speak ill of your division because you bring yourself bad karma, in my opinion, Alex. That's just, I'm a karma guy. Uh, but there you go, Josh. It's like you go to the casino and you're like, you yell out loud in front of everyone on the table, mm -hmm. ugh, I've got, I've got a, you know, a, a seven or an eight. The dealer's showing 11. What happens next? The dealer flips over a jack, you know? Oh, yeah. That's how it works. But good job, Josh. Now, on your Mike Allstott. And he could have gotten Alvin Kamara in here. There's always options in all these spots. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I'd rather have a headliner than not Alex, but mm -hmm. I'd rather have a W than an L. That's oh, for sure. Course. So all the guys saying, oh, I don't want the South. Well, turns out the South was the winner in that break. King of the South, Josh McKinnis. Instead of King of the North, King of the South. Oh, yeah. Mike Allstott, the A-Train. Him and Warwick Dunn back in the day. It was such a good duo in the Buccaneer backfield. When I first started watching football, uh, those guys were fun. They were in the same division as the Bears, actually. It was like the NFC North or NFC Central, they might have called yeah. it back then. It was different. But we always go with the current divisions in all the breaks. Hence why all all stop stop all all stop stop excuse me is NFC South. I can't talk because I'm too pumped about all stop. Everyone's got their personal guys. This is one of my favorites, Alex. Uh, Mike all stop. I already ordered up. All right, one more coming up. This one's heavy. This one's heavy, Alex. Uh, this should be a full size authentic box twenty two on the way. 22 of 35. Do we have a full-size authentic? Do we have a headliner? Do we have a speed flex, Alex? All these are options. Well, it's definitely authentic. That's for sure. And it's definitely a headliner, Alex. The beautiful salute to service. Micah Parsons, baby. One of the best pass rushers in the game. Every single season he's played, more than double-digit sacks. In fact, 13 or more every season, Ooh. Micah Parsons. Uh, Multi-time Pro Bowler, All-Pro, Pat Rich, NFC East, Micah Parsons Authentic. That is how we do in the break room. Very cool, Pat. Uh, I know William Maynard was telling us this yesterday. With the new kickoff rules... Uh, Micah Parsons reportedly wants to return kicks, Alex. What? You know what I told William? Not a chance they're letting him. No. <laughs> so, nice hit, says Chris. Nice, says Pat. Uh, nice indeed with the blue ink, Micah Parsons. You know, whether you have him two, three, four, five, he's definitely a top five pass rusher oh, yeah. in the game, Micah. I mean, for me, it's TJ Watt number one. After that, you can argue Parsons, Bosa, either Bosa, really. Uh, obviously, uh, Miles Garrett as well, but this guy is uh, top five pass rusher, uh, Micah Parsons. Probably the bronze medal so far behind the two quarterbacks. Yeah. 
a little bronze medal hit and it's it's not even the best dallas item left there's emmett smith michael Irvin, and we have a cd lamb slate that's right i know it's a rep but i'm a big cd lamb fan mm -hmm. and i love the slates as well uh, nice hit says casper nice hit pat on the micah parsons so what do you think, Alex? Run back the vault? I don't see why not. What do you guys think? 4.31, we'll go to at least 5 o'clock here. Then we'll see where we're sitting, but uh, definitely want to run back the vault. So make those spots. Let's make some magic here in the break room. I think the vault, we've done two doubles and a single, right? So five boxes in the vault today. For this show, we're down to 24 boxes left, Alex, in the vault. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine photoed headliners in 24 boxes. Four secondary makes it 13, plus three vault keys. 16 out of 24 boxes have either a vault key, a main headliner, or a secondary headliner. And the two vault keys we pulled are the two low numbers, 50 and 100. That's right. So these are 200 bucks, 300 bucks, and was it another 100? I think there's 200s. What is it, is that right? Yeah, there's two 100s. Two 100s, so there's a 100, a 200, and a 300 left in the vault. So, and that's already moving. Five to go. Which one do you most want to see? All of them. All of them? That's a good, that's a good answer. Yeah. I, now that I'm thinking about it, I originally answered uh, Barry Sanders. And then I said Randy Moss is second, and Sauce Gardner Flex is up there too. But now I'm looking at that John Elway slate, and I'm thinking about it, right? Yeah. Because I've never seen a John Elway slate authentic. We had him on a mini helmet, but that's a new slate helmet. It's very, very clean on John Elway. Uh, the Barry Sanders, by the way, has the 1997 NFL MVP inscription. The Randy Moss has the straight cash homie inscription. And here's that Sauce Gardner flex, by the way. The Hydro Speed flex with the green visor. That thing is nuts. Uh, Sauce Gardner, the, I would say definitely the best corner in the league, right? Yeah. It's kind of hard. Oh, yeah, since he, he, since he entered the league. He doesn't get as many picks, but that's because no one no one throws at him. Exactly. And they're afraid. He also doesn't give up touchdowns. He's given up, like, only a handful of touchdowns in his first couple years. Yeah. If that less than a handful, really. I also know uh, we used to do these a lot and then kind of toned it down, but I don't think Pat, Chris, and... Uh, who else? Steven, we're around. If you guys ever want quads, we can do quads. We could do quads if you guys want. You guys are ever down for Because I know there's there's three helmets in the yeah. East and the Diamonds. That's so true. triple up. If you guys ever want to do quads, yeah, we just, could do just a just quad. So there you go. Yeah, good job, Josh. A good job on the Mike Allstott. I mean, I would say you more than got your money back on that one. It's a full size lid. Uh, definitely got more than your money's worth uh, in that one. So, a good job, though, guys, in that vault. Let's run back another one. Two to go. Like Alex said, we could do a double. We could do a quad in the vault of the diamonds. Whatever you guys want, we're more than happy to do. Yeah. We'll keep rolling with the doubles for now. They're hot, but if there's multiple customers that want a quad, we can make that happen. That could be, it's a four-box break. One spot could get you two, three as many as four items as well. Uh, for example, like you mentioned in the diamonds, Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, and the Eagle Quad. Uh, that'd be a possibility uh, for sure. That ball uh, double is sold out. That was quick. That was super quick. Vault double number three. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys, in the vault. We got Frank, we got Pat, we got Steven, we got Pat, we got Chris. Chris, of course, is in. He wants the Sauce Gardner Hydroflex. And if Pat's going on vacation tonight, right now's the moment, Pat. Seize oh, yeah. your moments, maybe your last moments for a month in the break room. Seize them now. Get that Joe Montana, right? Get that Montana for you, Pat. That's what you need, right? Uh, we got Frank with six and eight, Alex, in the vault. All right, both of those should be available. Six and eight going off the ticker in the vault. Oof, that Real Madrid-Man City game. Penalty kicks, Alex. 
Everybody's favorite. All right, good luck, folks. Vault double number three. Let's see if we have Montana. Do we have Barry Sanders, Randy Moss? Uh, these are all possibilities here. Six clicks. Pat Rich has the Joe Montana spot, NFC West. Chris Clayton up top in the NFC North. The Barry Sanders, Randy Moss spots. NFC South, Frank Evans. Steven Lenhart, NFC East. Uh, Pat's got NFC West, AFC North, AFC South. Steven's got the AFC East and the AFC West in the vault double box. All right, double the boxes. Double the fun here. Box six here. Called out by Frank. Uh, this one's going to be a full-size replica helmet, Alex. Full-size rep coming up. Oh, oh, this is a really good filler, Alex. A really good filler. Uh, how about Drew Bledsoe on the uh, camo replica? Uh, Four-time Pro Bowler, more than 40,000 career passing yards. A lot of folks think of Bledsoe, and that's the guy that Brady replaced, but people forget he was in the Super Bowl before Tom Brady. Yeah. Uh, took the Patriots against Brett Favre and the Packers. The one Super Bowl Favre won was over Drew Bledsoe and the Pats. A very good quarterback with the Bills, the Cowboys, the Patriots. A really good career for Drew Bledsoe. Congrats, Stephen Lenhart, on this clean, and I do mean clean camo, full-size rep. And that's the filler, Drew Bledsoe. Very nice. And it's the classic what could have been, because with that defense... He doesn't get hurt. Who knows? Maybe Bledsoe yeah. wins a couple Super Bowls with the Patriots. Maybe Brady never gets a chance, Alex. These are all possibilities. Uh, no doubt about that. And a lot of folks actually thought Belichick should have went back to Bledsoe after injury. And especially in the AFC Championship, Brady got hurt. Bledsoe came in and played great. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks said he should have started the Super Bowl uh, yeah. against the Rams. So... But, you know, Belichick said, nope, Brady's my guy. Obviously, Bledsoe was really good, but Belichick obviously made the right decision in retrospect, right? It's tough, though. We have a young quarterback that's a six-round pick. It's kind of tough to say he's our starter over our franchise quarterback, right? That's right. That's tough. All right, box eight coming up next. Eight in the vault. 8 out of 35. Good luck, guys. Let's see if we got a headliner here. This one, I think, might be authentic, Alex. Uh, might be authentic. It looks like an authentic bag. Oh, we got one of those retro authentics, man. And how about this? I mean, this guy just is unconscious right now. Steven Lenhard doubles up with the Ricky Williams... Smoke Ooh. weed everyday inscription. The Dolphin Authentic Helmet. That's sweet. Uh, JSA certified on Ricky Williams, Stephen Lenhart. Uh, 2002 NFL leader in rushing yards, Alex. More than 10,000 rushing yards. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks forget how good he was as a running back, right? Wow. Everybody thinks of him as the guy that the Saints treated everybody for in their draft for. Uh, and then they look up and 10,000 yards rushing in his career. More than that. Uh, Heisman Trophy winner at Texas. Uh, awesome helmet there. Smoke weed everyday inscription, which is pretty much what Ricky Williams did. Yeah, was not set up for as much success with the Saints. Had a lot of no. pressure on him. Went to the Dolphins. Had a one uh, heck of a career. Yeah, he did. Uh, nice double hit, says Casper. Double hit of fillers. Drew Bledsoe. I guess Ricky Williams is a secondary headliner, but neither was a photoed name. And both are excellent helmets for Steven Lenhart. House Money Steven, that's what I'm going to call him today because he's been taking home W's left and right, Alex. Unconscious, Steven Lenhart has been, right? Right. Absolutely unconscious. So I'll write this one up, and I would say we should run this back, right? Run it back. And we didn't pull any photo headliners in that last one, so there's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't run it back. Montana, Elway, Moss... Sanders, Lamb, all these guys 
still very much out there, right? So we'll get this one written up. And I'm guessing this is probably going to be our next break, Alex. I would assume so. Given how quickly the last one filled up, I don't see why this one shouldn't fill up equally as fast. The smoke weed every day is nice. Personally, Alex, I'm a fan of Puff Puff Run. That's a good one. And then the Heisman, the where he writes it H I uh, G H S M A N. Yeah. He was the Heisman uh, at Texas. It sure was. And that one was nice too. One of the best college running backs of all time, Ricky Williams. All right, we'll put this bad boy away. Oh, Luka Modric gets his penalty stopped. Real Madrid in trouble, Alex. Shocker. This Barca fan over here is not too upset about it. I bet not. I'll say that. I will say that. Uh, best hit so far of the show, without question, I'm still going Steve Young. I know the Big Ben is cool, but this thing is cooler than cool, right? Uh, fantastic looking lid on this one. I think this is Ricky Williams. Let me just double check here. Uh, WPP. 51794. Any movement, Alex, the vault? Not yet, but it'll happen. All right, matter of time. Just a matter of time here. Let me double check here. Yep, that is, in fact, the Ricky Williams certs. Here we go. Ricky Williams is such a cult hero. Like, there's guys in here that are not Pro Football Hall of Famers, but... Ricky Williams and Bo Jackson, those are as good as headliners. Man City misses a PK. Mm. So if Real Madrid makes this one, they're back at even. Kicked it right at the goalie. That was one of the worst penalties I've ever seen, to be honest. I don't know what that was. So refreshing the break page, we got... Someone just got in. Someone got in in a big way, right? Six to go in that vault double box. I'll go ahead and make it easy for these guys. Obviously, Alex, we have a lot of great stuff in the Diamonds, the practice squad, but it's looking like the rest of the show are running vaults, right? Yeah. That seems to be the break right now. Uh, here's that link. Make it nice and simple for you guys to get that vault double box. It just makes sense, right? It just makes sense. Single's got some movement, too. Oh, there we go. So... We've done four doubles now, three doubles. Three doubles. We're going to do four. Yeah, so we're down to 22 boxes left in that vault, Alex. 22 boxes left. Elway, Sanders, Montana, Moss, Lamb, Watt, Hill, Gardner, Irvin. That is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four old headliners in 22. 13 out of 22 counting the secondary names. So those odds are getting really stacked here. Uh-oh. Man City misses again. Oh, Tough. Tough. Well, at least I'll be happy with the break results. I'll tell you that, Alex. Because I've had a lot of fun breaking this show. A lot of awesome hits. Although I would be upset if I left the Barry Sanders lurking. Or the Randy Moss. Two of my favorite players. Or my favorite defensive player, TJ Watt. These are guys I want us to pull in the show, right? That's what I'm hoping for. I don't want Colin pulling these, right? He can have the ego quarterback quad. We want the rest, yeah, Alex, right? That's fair. That guy, Colin Rudisell. So, what do you what do you want to see out of those? Gardner? The yeah. Hydroflex? I mean, sauce, sauce is so good, and he's an expensive auto. You got to think of that. Very expensive autograph. More than people realize, right? Yep. How are you feeling about the Bulls playing tonight? I hope they lose. <sighs> I'm betting Bulls minus three, Alex. I think they're going to win. I hope they lose. Just I'm, I'm going to bet the, the Heat to cover and the Bulls to cover I, tonight. I'm, I'm in spite of Jerry Reinsdorf. Okay. See, that's what the guys that were doing our stuff was. They're White Sox and Bull fans. Yep. They're the same way. Yep. This is what he wants. To act like winning a playing game is cool. It's cool. No. Right. They won a playing game last year. Means nothing. Okay. The, the stats don't count towards anything. That that is true. They don't count towards anything. No playoff win, no stat. It just goes into nowhere. They should count <laughs> for something. That's one of those weird anomalies in yeah. sports. Uh, so, six to go in that vault double box, folks. Let's get back in. 
We got, what is that? 33 folks watching. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of good stuff left. Barry Sanders, Randy Moss. I mean, you can double up there. Uh, get more than $1,500 value with one spot. Uh, you can get, obviously, <clears throat> the Cowboy double up, Lamb and Irvin, TJ Watt, John Elway, Joe Montana. I mean, come on. The quarterbacks are still left, Alex. Uh, two of the best to ever do it, Montana and Elway. We were going over this earlier. Number one overall picks as quarterbacks to make the Hall of Fame. Uh, and it was uh, not that many, surprisingly. It was Elway, who we have in the break room. Manning. Peyton Manning, Troy Aikman, regulars in the break room. And then there was Terry Bradshaw, and that was it. And that was all the guys. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's it's a, such, such a short list. So we're due for another one is what it sounds like. Right? No doubt about it. So, uh, keep it moving, guys. We are due. I mean, I think the hit video has got to be quarterbacks. I want Montana and Elway on the desk before the show is over, right? Because Micah Parsons might not fit the theme, Alex. Five to go on the double, five to go on the single. Joseph Avila says, what is the most expensive one? Well, generally speaking, the most expensive autograph is Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes the second. Of John Elway and Joe Montana, it's got to be fairly close. Might be um, John Elway, especially on a slate. It's a slate. Yeah, it is a slate. He doesn't that's sign. A, so that's newer. He doesn't sign as often as Joe Montana does. But let's see. Joe Montana, 49ers, authentic helmet. Let's see what Fanatics quotes Joe Montana at. So that's, that's Fanatics. So, oh, this is, ooh. oh, that's because of the inscription, probably. I like that inscription. There's a 1500 one uh, that says, I left my heart in San Francisco, Alex. That's, why, why does it always the minis that I'm looking at? <laughs> that's weird. Ooh, that one has so many inscriptions. See, why do they not have any without inscriptions, Alex? Who knows? It's weird. I mean, we're looking at ballpark of like a thousand dollars for a, a Joe Montana authentic. So, uh, you know, give or take. I see the VS4 for nine hundred. The John Elway is probably going to be roughly that as well. Now, some of these guys will find them cheaper on eBay, obviously, Alex. Uh, but the uh, official helmets, uh, through the official sources, the official value. Uh, definitely high. You're getting, you know, double, triple, bare minimum of what a spot is. 100, you know, 84, what's a double box? Yeah, for the double, 184. 184. 164. 164, even better, right? Even better. So, now John Elway, about 800 bucks on Fanatics, his retail price. But that's not a slate, Alex. That's just no. a standard John Elway authentic. Exactly. Uh, so... I would, I would definitely say jump in there. Let's make it happen, guys, uh, in those diamonds. Or to go in the double. I know Steven hopped in the single, but the double is what's moving. The vault double? Yes. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I uh, love to hear that. Uh, Real Madrid won, Alex, and PK yes, they did. Tough. They're inevitable. They are inevitable. That's what they do. It's like the announcer that says Messi's inevitable. Yeah. Real Madrid, they always find a way every time. Isn't Joseph Avila the guy that was asking for a Max Crosby, Alex? Is that right? I was not here for that. Because there's a Max Crosby right. practice squad authentic helmet available, uh, Joseph Avila. Four to go, Alex. Yeah, we do have the Max Crosby available, Joseph. Uh, Full-size authentic in the practice squad, Max Crosby. Still got the bus, oh. Puka Nakua, triple sign Washington jersey, Dawkins, Alexander McLaurin. A lot of goodies in the practice squad. This one, though, is going to be the next break, Alex. Four spots left. This is definitely happening. Look at this Sauce Gardner Hydro Speed Flex, by the way. You know, believe it or not, given that it's a Speed Flex... It's got the custom visor, the two-tone lid. This thing actually might be worth more than a Montana or an Elway, which is crazy to think about, right? Yeah. But Sauce Garner is awesome. That helmet is awesome. 
the speed flexes, the hydros, the chromes, those tend to be worth more. Sauce says Casper, right? That's Chris Clayton. Is he gonna get in the in the break for the he, sauce? He's in there. Ah, he's in already. He says sauce with not one, not two. We're not talking LeBron championships. Mm -hmm. Not three, not four, five fire emojis. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, everyone gives all the love to the quarterbacks, all the love to the wide receivers. Somebody's got to shut these guys down. That's right. And this guy did. Remember the quarterbacks last year against the Jets? Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen losing. Mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes won but struggled. Why is that? This guy. Okay. Uh, this guy, you know, obviously other good defensive players, but he is the the leader, the tone setter for the Jets. Uh, the great Sauce Gardner. I could probably watch that helmet spin like... 15, 20 times, Alex. Oh, yeah. And not get bored. Uh, that lid is beautiful, says Casper. Yes, it most definitely is. So, vault single, five to go. Vault double, four to go. So, here's what we'll do at five o'clock. We'll knock out the jersey wheel spin. Mm -hmm. Unless we are, you know, within a spot or two, we're eight to go in the jerseys. That means we'll be here till 5.05, no matter what, Alex. 13 minutes from now, no matter what. If at 5.05 we're still hot, we'll keep breaking. If we're a little bit slow, we'll hop off. Uh, guys are back at 6 p.m. Yes. I am more than happy to break until about 5.30, 5.40. Have these guys, you know, push us out of the seats, Alex. But uh, if you want to keep going this program, now's the time, right? We did just get a couple big orders. One from Steven, one from Dustin Rose. Ooh, what's up, Dustin? Uh, big time chief fan in the break room, Dustin Rose in the house so we are one to go i believe now in the vault double all right so that break will obviously happen here honestly i would like to knock out at least one more after that alex could be one could be two or two to go in the vault single okay so we'll knock out three more vault boxes no matter what after that up to you guys if we knock out more this program and that'll get us to less than 20 left alex right so that is fantastic. Are you doing the double box full size diamond? Says Mancy Drew. I'm dying with anticipation. This is my first time doing this. So we will run the diamond double when it fills. So we're we're in every single day, three times a day break room about yes. noon to about 11 p.m. Alex. Uh, so we'll run it when the break fills. I know some breaks. People will run it whenever their breaks fill. They'll run once a week. Uh, so as soon as they hop on, they're ripping boxes. We do live fills. So Mancy Drew, by the way, what is that beautiful dog? Is that a golden, Alex? I can't tell, but shout out to Mancy. Uh, that break will happen as soon as it fills, Alex. Now, it'll probably fill at 6 p.m. The 6 p.m. show, is it possible it fills this show? Yes, it is. I mean, it's... Justin Jefferson, Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, four Eagle quarterback autographs, uh, and we also have uh, secondary Marshall Falk. So we're down to 11 boxes left. We have five headliners left. This break will hop happen either in the next 15 or 20 minutes, Alex, or it'll happen during the 6 p.m. program. Yeah. Could be 6 o'clock, could be 7, could be 8, uh, but it's going to happen at some point, right? Uh, no doubt about it, the two-minute warning uh, diamond helmets. Also, you're in the right break. All Authentics. This is box for box, the best break in the room. The Vault right now is still on the show at the moment, but the Diamonds will have their run as well. I definitely try out the Vault Double, too. Don't yeah. stop at the Diamond. Get in the Vault Double. Mancy Drew, that will sell out real fast, actually. It must be Kim. Is that Kim? What's the squad, Kim? What's your favorite team? That's the only newcomer in that Diamond Double, so I'm okay. going to assume it's Kim. I'm guessing that's Kim. So, if you want to get in a break that's going to fill right now, Vault double, one spot to go. Vault single, two spots to go. Oh, Niners all day. Perfect. Oh. Well, get in the vault right now, uh, Kim. We actually pulled the Steve Young in that Diamond Series, but there is a Vault Joe Montana still out there. Uh, Four-time Super Bowl champion. If you're a Niner fan, get in the vault, right? That's the play. Single or double, they're both one away. Mm. So you can be the closer in either one. 
I know I was very sad to see that. I wanted that Steve Young, right? Yeah, th this Steve Young, this butte right here, this thing is nuts. We actually pulled Jerry Rice earlier today, Deion Sanders. Dude, Joe Montana left. It's a, it's a Niner kind of day in the break room. Joe Montana, I'm guessing, is going to get pulled. Uh, no doubt about it. So, we do have Ayuk in those minis and George Kittle as well. Yeah. Uh, more Niner options here in the room. So, your best better to sick Niner right now, I would say, is the Vault Kim. Uh, which is obviously also... A break that's going to happen, Alex. The double, one to go. The single, one to go. Uh, let's make that happen, guys. I can't believe that. Real Madrid again, man. They actually... Oh, my God. Look at the stats. Man City had 33 shot attempts to eight. Nine to three on goal. 67% percentage. Look at that time possession, too. I know. And they, they still couldn't win. It's what they always do, winning ugly. That's what champions do, right? A win's a win. A win's a win. Uh, nothing ugly about this vault, though. It is full of beauties, uh, full-size authentics, full-size reps, no minis, no jerseys, no you know slap cards, footballs, all full-size helmets, and all of them are awesome. Uh, so at least two more breaks this program, Alex. Question is, who's going to get them? You might have an answer for me. Dustin Rose closed out the vault single. All right, what's up, Dustin? Uh, Dustin Rose knocking out the vault single. Oh, and then I think Kim knocked out the double. Let's go, Kim. Uh, she wants to see it right now, Alex. Doesn't want to wait. So vault single was first, right? It was first. So vault single was first. Uh, go ahead and drop me a number for the vault single. The vault double to follow. And that's something you can check too. Dustin Rose, his order number will be before Kim. So one eight one four eight three. I'm guessing Kim is one eight one four eight four. That's correct. Uh, so we got Chris Clayton. The single wants box one. Alex, isn't Sauce Gardner number one? Oh, is he? He's looking for number one in box one. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Steven, Chris, and Dustin. Good luck, guys, for our vault single box. All right, six clicks. Good luck, guys. We got four, five, and six. Dustin's got the Montana spot. Steven's got the sauce spot. Chris has the Randy Moss and Drew Brees spot. In the NFC North. So Chris Clayton, NFC North. We got Steven Lenhardt, NFC South, NFC East. Dustin Rose, NFC West. Uh, we got ourselves Steven. Actually has the entire AFC, actually. So Steven is looking for an AFC hit here. If it's AFC, Steven is victorious here, Alex. Wouldn't that be nice for him? All right. Although most of the headliners in here are actually NFC. So we'll see. Sauce Gardner, Tyreek Hill, TJ Water, AFC, Elway, Sanders, Montana. Actually, Elway's AFC as well. So we have headliners in both conferences. Steven wants one thing and one thing only, Alex. The John Elway. Bronco fan says, let's go Elway. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Is it time for that John Elway Authentic helmet. It is an authentic helmet, Alex. It is an authentic helmet. It's a Steven Wynn, but it's another quarterback, a secondary headliner, MV7, Michael Vick on the Eagles authentic. Uh, so a former Pro Bowl quarterback, most rushing yards, of any quarterback ever, highest yards per carry in league history, uh, but his best overall season as an Eagle. Came back from jail, uh, did really good with the Eagles. Andy oh, Reid yeah. helped him pass the ball. Uh, nice hit there, Steven. The Madden Goat, Michael Vick. All right. Uh, the photo to headliner ratios, Alex, just getting better and better and better. That is a full-size authentic as well there. Steven, not a rep, full-size authentic. 
Nice hit from Casper as well. Dark Wolf likes it. I like it as well. Michael Vick. One of the most entertaining players in league history, right? That play where he was on the Falcons and two Vikings collide. Legendary. Iconic. I mean, it was nuts. He won at Lambeau Field against Favre and the Packers back when nobody did it, Alex. I know the Niners make it look easy, but yeah. back in the day, nobody was doing that. So, Vault Double is next. Already our fourth Vault Double box. We got Niner fans galore. We got Kim. We got Pat. We got two Chris's. Chris Cornwell, Chris Clayton. Chris is a Cowboy fan. Got Cowboy headliners in here. Uh, that's Chris Cornwell. Chris Clayton is a Jets fan. He's looking for the Sauce Gardner. And Steven Lenhart is a Bronco fan. Uh, wants that John Elway. Mm -hmm. Now, Dustin Rose is a Chief fan, but he's also a collector. Wants a lot of goodies in the vault double. So, vault double number four. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers. Uh, after this break, Alex, unless something is full... We are knocking out the chase wheel spin after this. And guys, if you want to run back the vault or the practice squad or the diamonds, get those spots now. Because if you guys don't get these orders moving, this could be the last break of the show. Doesn't have to be. We could do more if you guys want. But we do have a 6 p.m. show as well soon. So if you guys want to keep playing, get these orders now. Uh, Chris wants two and 25. Thank you, Chris. 2 and 25, both going off the ticker in the vault break. Headliner ratios are absolutely stacked in the vault. Absolutely stacked. Good luck, guys. Let's see if it's time for Montana, for Elway, for Barry Sanders, for Randy Moss. Some of the best playmakers and quarterbacks in NFL history. Out, out there. Alright, six clicks. Oh, would you look at that. Would you look at that, Alex. Kim Lyles has the NFC West. She could get herself a Joe Montana in her first ever break. Ooh. Steven Lenhardt in the NFC North. He could get Barry Sanders and Randy Moss both in this double box. Uh, Pat Rich, NFC South. Chris Clayton, NFC East, could get himself CeeDee Lamb and Michael Orvin. Kim Lyles, NFC West, like I said, looking for Montana. Dustin Rose, AFC North and South. Chris Cornwell, AFC East, and Pat Rich, AFC West. Chris Cornwell, Sauce Gardner. Pat Rich, Joe Montana. Uh, Dustin Rose, TJ Watt. Every single person in this break, Alex, has a chance at a photo headliner. How about that? How about that? Let's see which one it's going to be. Uh, box two coming up. Two of 35 here in our vault double box. It's another authentic, Alex. Another authentic. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The 1997 NFL MVP. How about Barry Sanders? In my opinion, the GOAT running back. Uh, incredible helmet right there. 10 seasons, 10 Pro Bowls, 10 1,000 yard rushing seasons. One of eight guys with more than 2,000, Alex. He retired early. Had he kept playing, he'd be the all time rushing record holder. You know why he retired early? Because he doesn't care about records. This dude is just that man. Steven Lenhart strikes again. Headliner fire with the Barry Sanders hit. And if you don't think Barry's the GOAT, we have another one of the contenders, Emmett Smith, still out there in that Diamond Series. That's right. Uh, so didn't have the same line as Emmett, didn't have the same team, and it didn't matter. Barry Sanders was electric. I mean, he could go one way, run back 10 yards, spin you, and take it to the house. Oh, yeah. Absolutely electric. So great job, Steven. And this is probably the bronze here. Honestly, I mean, I like Barry better than Ben Roethlisberger. And we see Ben Roethlisberger a lot less. Uh, but if we're going based off my favorite players, this is probably the silver, honestly, for me. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, Barry Sanders. All right, Steven. Is Randy Moss next, Alex? Could Randy Moss be next? Let's make some room on the desk, right? Yeah, Barry Mike Sanders. Micah might, might have to go. Offense sells, right? Offense is sexy. Uh, Micah might not be in the hit video. This one feels heavy as well. Box 25 coming up. 25 of 35 in the vault. Called out by Chris Cornwell. He says, give me that Hydro Speed Flex Sauce Gardener here. Kim's looking for that Joe Montana. Pat's looking for the John Elway. Dustin's looking for the TJ Watt. Chris is looking for the Tyree Kill as well. Ooh, I love this one. One of my favorite players in the NFL as a kid. Bolt up inscription. Darren Sproles on the Lunar Authentic. Uh, beautiful helmet. Beckett certified with that QR sticker on the back. Full size authentic Pat Rich. You've got the single season record holder for all purpose yards, Alex. More than 2,600 rushing, receiving, kick return, punt return yards combined for this little beast. Uh, the great Darren Sproles. All right, Pat. So one headliner down. So many great ones left, Alex. So many great ones left. Uh, we are now down to 19 vault helmets left. Elway, Montana, Moss, Lamb, Watt, Tyreek Hill, Sauce Gardner, Michael Irvin. It's four, five, six, seven, eight photoed headliners in 19 boxes. That's it. We got three vault keys and two secondary headliners, Mooner and Camara. With those ones, Alex, 13 out of 19 boxes are either a photoed headliner, a secondary headliner, or a vault key. The 200 and the 300 vault key options still out there. So up to you guys if you want to run this back. If you guys want to do another one, we are more than happy to stick around. Uh, otherwise, Colin and Steven will knock this out tonight. Uh, we are back at 6 o'clock, mm -hmm. 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m. Central Time every single day. So we'll knock out the jersey wheel spin here, Alex. And then we'll take a peek at where we're looking. If we're within a few spots to go, we'll keep going. If we're, you know, six to eight spots away, we'll let the guys handle it tonight. All right. So it was one jersey break, right? Yes. Just one jersey break. Somebody gets a bonus wheel spin. Maybe some extra money to spend in the break room. Let me know, guys. I know some of these guys are probably impatient. They don't want to wait till 6 o'clock, Alex. So if you guys don't want to wait, let's make it happen right now. We got three, four, five, and six clicks. It's Jacob Harris. What's up, Jacob? Uh, let us know what number you want to start on if you're watching. Otherwise, we'll start you on one for your wheel spin, Jacob. Whatever this lands on, that's how much money you get in a UA gift card. And let me head to the break page real quick. So eight to go, guys. If you don't jump in here the next couple minutes, we'll call the show here in the next couple minutes. Uh, minis are six to go. Diamond single eight to go. A jersey single eight to go. Vault single eight to go. Practice squad single six to go. Diamond double six left. Vault double eight left. And practice squad double six left. So, Jacob, we are going to spin this bad boy for you. I'll do a quick rundown of the biggest names left in those three big series, guys. But as for the minis, Alex, all the headliners are left. The jerseys, AJ Green, Antonio Gates, and Eric Dickerson are our headliners left in the jerseys. All right, Jacob. Big money, Jake. Not bad, not bad. $83. Ooh. That's a pretty good number, the Wes Welker number. All right, so let's run through these six series here, Alex, and what we have available. So practice squad, let's see here. We have done one double in the practice squad, this program. So we are down to 21 boxes left in the practice squad. Uh, that includes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine headliners in 21 boxes, which is the Max Crosby Authentic, 
the Puka Nakua Jerome Bettis Authentics, the triple sign jersey for the Washington Super Bowl champion quarterbacks, Joe Theismann, Mark, Mark Rippon, Doug Williams. We got the Brian Dawkins full-size rep, Sean Alexander Authentic, Terry McLaurin Authentic. You can double up with McLaurin and the Washington jerseys, the Brian Dawkins as well. Alexander and Puka Nakua could be double ups on the authentic lids. Have Trayvon Diggs and Jack Lambert as secondary headliners left in that break. Uh, the vault break, the hot break tonight. Uh, we are down to, what was it, four double boxes and two singles. So we are down to just 19 boxes left in the vault, Alex. That includes the Tyreek Hill full size rep, uh, the Sauce Gardner Hydro Speed Flex. The Lamb Slate full-size helmet. The Michael Irvin uh, full-size rep. TJ Watt authentic. Randy Moss straight cash homie authentic. And two of the best quarterbacks ever, Joe Montana and John Elway. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photoed headliners in 19 boxes. Warren Moon, Alvin Kamara, secondary headliners makes it 10 and 19. And then we got ourselves three vault keys including the $200 and $300 gift card left. That's a 13 and 19 chance at either a vault key, a full-size authentic headliner, or a full-size rep headliner. Diamond double, six to go. We're down to 11 boxes left. Uh, maybe the best receiver in the game right now, Justin Jefferson on the Lunar Authentic. Uh, the NFL's all-time leading rusher, Emmett Smith, and one of the best receivers ever, the great Michael Irvin. Then we have four Eagle quarterbacks on one helmet. The autograph includes Randall Cunningham, Mike Vick, Ron Jaworski, Donovan McNabb. Secondary headliner, Marshall Falk, lurking as well. So that gets us to a 5-11 uh, chance at a headliner uh, in the diamond. So I'll give you guys a couple more minutes just in case while we go over our hit of the show stuff. Otherwise, Alex will be hopping off here in the next minute or two. So hits of the show. Steve Young, I think, is the number one gold standard. Get it? Gold, pun intended. I feel like you might go Barry. I'm gonna go with Big Ben because we don't get a lot of Big. We don't ben. get a lot of Big Ben. The Big Ben's uh, beautiful uh, helmet right here. The flat white. I'm just such a big Barry fan that I will go with Barry as number two. Uh, one of my favorite players of all time. The 1997 NFL MVP. But we could obviously flip these. I think the Big Ben is actually worth a little bit more because it's a quarterback and he doesn't sign as often. But, yeah. you know, take your pick. They're both excellent helmets, both excellent players for our top hits. Micah Parsons gets the honorable mention, I would say, the fourth place because it's been a crowded podium here oh, yeah. with legends like Steve Young, uh, like Ben Roethlisberger, and Barry Sanders. So this is still number one for me, though. Steve Young... Chrome Flex, I mean, look at this thing. It looks even better in person than the stream, believe it or not. An absolutely wild, uh, wild helmet here in our breaks today. So I know John Ryan got one spot in the practice squad single, uh, but that one is still a little bit away. So I think this will do it, Alex. Any final thoughts from you, man? I know, it was a great show, and I think the night show is going to continue the fire. Yeah, that vault break should go tonight. I mean, obviously... We always say there could be four or five boxes left where all the headliners are gone, but at least all the photoed headliners in the vault should go tonight, right? So yeah. many big names left. Uh, I'm normally here at 6 o'clock at night, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, but Wednesday is my early day. Got some volleyball tonight, Alex. There you go. So I'll be back tomorrow at 6. You're back Tuesday. on Tuesday. Alex is back on Tuesday uh, at noon and 3. It's going to be Colin and Steven tonight at 6. We're here every single day, 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m. Central Time, right here at Ultimate Autographs. So, uh, Jen, Billy Lane, what we do here is live breaks. You don't buy the helmets outright. You get a chance to win the items. So, it is a live break room. I know there's a retail section on our page. If you want to search for certain items, we may or may not have those. But as far as what me and Alex do... This is a live break room. You can't buy the helmet outright. Everyone's got the same odds to win the helmets. So hopefully that makes sense, uh, Jen Billy Lane. So thank you, Alex, as always, co-hosting, producing, doing a great job as always. Thank you so much to the customers for watching, 
for buying, for chatting. You guys make the show special. Uh, the rest of our team will see you at 6. I'll see you tomorrow at 6. Have a great night, guys, and we'll see you soon.